The Shenyang J-15, nicknamed the Flying Shark is a Chinese carrier-borne air superiority fighter jet. Its development was marked by a controversy. It all started at the turn of the 21st century when Chinese MOD decided to improve the People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force. They wanted to acquire Sukhoi Su-33 naval air superiority fighters for the use on their aircraft carrier. It has been reported that in 2001 China acquired an unfinished prototype of the Su-33 from Ukraine. In 2006 China ordered two Russian Su-33 carrier-based naval fighters for trials and evaluation. Delivery was expected in 2007 to 2008. There was also an agreed option for another 12 to 48 Su-33's fighters. However negotiations stagnated, as China sought to reduce Russian content in the aircraft, while Russia wanted to ensure a level of income from sales and future upgrades. It seems that after long and unsuccessful negotiation, Chinese used the Ukrainian Su-33 prototype for what would later became the J-15. Russia claims that China violated intellectual property agreements by creating its own version of Russian Sukhoi Su-33 fighter jet. In 2006 this incident ended negotiations to obtain new military aircraft from Russia. China eventually continued development of their J-15. The Shenyang J-15 made its first flight in 2009 and was officially adopted by the China's Navy in 2013. Currently this shipborne aircraft is produced in quantity. By 2021 there were 50 units in service. These operated on board of China's Liaoning and Shandong aircraft carriers. In 2021 an order was made for another 55 J-15 series aircraft. These will be operational on the third China's Fujian aircraft carrier. The J-15 Flying Shark is based on the Su-33 design, but it is fitted with indigenous engines, weapons, and radar. In many aspects the J-15 is similar to Shenyang J-11 air superiority aircraft that is based around a similar airframe of the Su-27. Compared to the Russian Su-33, the Shenyang J-15 is much faster, 2-940 km per hour opposed to 2-300 km, has a longer range, 3-500 km opposed to 3,000 km, and a higher service ceiling, 20 km opposed to 17 km. However Russians were claiming that the Flying Shark is no match for their Sukhoi Su-33. Equipment and armament of Sukhoi Su-33 was regarded superior than that of the Chinese jet, although this is debatable. Eventually China introduced improved versions of the J-15 with latest avionics, AESA radar, new missiles and other improvements. This fighter aircraft can carry indigenous PL-12 medium-range air-to-air missiles. Also there are short-range PL-7, PL-8, PL-9 missiles in its inventory. The J-15 is reportedly capable of carrying USAIM-9L-M air-to-air missiles. This fighter aircraft can carry various bombs including guided ones. The J-15 can be equipped with an external in-flight refueling probe, which can be used to extend the range of similar carrier-borne fighters. According to the chief designer of the Flying Shark, this aircraft has what it takes to be a worthy competitor to Sukhoi Su-33, as well as Eurofighter Typhoon, Boeing F divided by a minus-18E Super Hornet, and other carrier-based aircraft of the same class. The chief designer cites electronic systems to be the weakest link of this jet. He also mentioned that Chinese-built Washin WS-10A Taihang turbofans need improvement in the future in order to match the quality of Russian engines. There are two versions of the Flying Shark, the one-seat and the twin-seat variant. The two-seater made its maiden flight in 2012. Essentially it is a combat-capable trainer. For years the J-15 was the only China's carrier-based fighter, however some sources report that new stealthy fighter is being developed in China for carrier operations. Variants Single-seat version it made its first flight in 2009 and was adopted in 2013. J-15S is a twin-seat version. Essentially it is a combat-capable trainer. 
It made its first flight in 2012. J-15D is a two-seat electronic warfare version. It carries pods with special equipment. Infrared search and track sensor has been removed. It retains capability to launch missiles. Essentially it is a defense suppression aircraft. Testing began in 2018. J-15T prototype which incorporated catapult-assisted takeoff capability. It was developed for the new China's aircraft carrier which was planned to have electromagnetic catapults, as the previous Shandong and Liaoning lacked such catapults and had ski jump ramps instead. J-15B is a newly built improved version. It has a new airframe and has a catapult-assisted takeoff capability. It was developed for the new China's Fujian aircraft carrier with electromagnetic catapults this aircraft is fitted with latest avionics, AESA radar, stealth coating. This aircraft is compatible with PL-10 and PL-15 missiles. J-15G is reportedly a new version. This could be another designation of the J-15B.